Welcome back. If you are feeling a little neglected in your relationship, you may get the urge to spark a little jealousy in your partner. How can I feel that? I've got a great wife and a great co-host. I'm taking care of all this. Oh, but <laughs> how do you do that without ruining your relationship? Lily Cotilla is here to tell us a little bit about it. Good morning, Hi, Lily. Lily. Good morning. Fresh back in from Minneapolis, one of the greenest cities we just mentioned. I just saw that, number three. Wow. What do you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We're glad to have you this morning. All right, let's talk about jealousy. Why do many people resort to jealousy when their relationship is maybe things are a little shaky? Yeah, well, you know, I think healthy relationships are really based on trust and respect. And a lot of times I think we're scared to really make ourselves vulnerable in relationships. So instead of asking for what it is we want or even knowing what it is that we're missing in a relationship, we're going to turn to getting back at someone else to elicit that behavior, but it really doesn't work. We really have to drop down in ourselves and figure out what it is we're wanting mm -hmm. and then ask for it instead of doing it passive aggressive ways. ways. Mm -hmm. Typically, what are people jealous of in relationships? Obviously, the other man or the other woman, but there can be other things that people use to make others jealous. Yeah, well, I think people make others jealous when we're not feeling appreciated for the efforts we put into a relationship or when we're not given the time, um, someone might find really admirable in a partner, which is an, another way of phrasing um, healthy jealousy, that maybe she gets a promotion at work, or she's a really good mom, or she has her own independent social life. So those are really great things. But if they're not balanced, and if he isn't given the time and dedication as her husband, then that admiration is slowly going to turn into jealousy. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it becomes envy, and then it's just... Threatening a little bit. Yeah. You know, and what's interesting is that, you know, um, people find each other based upon certain characteristics that they have. And when one person uses the characteristic they got to get the other person as a way to make that person jealous, I guess that is probably the worst. Yeah, and you know, it typically yeah. happens because we play out our, the stuff that happens in a relationship and we don't even realize it until it's, it's too late. So that's why it's really important to continuously be self-reflecting in our relationships. Now this, uh, we're talking today about healthy types of jealousy. Now you mm -hmm. say it, it's, there aren't very many. Yeah, there are not very many. Um, you know, actually, from an evolutionary perspective, jealousy increases our sexual feelings and our feelings of lust. If you can imagine walking down a street and you see a bear, your anxiety is going to go off the roof. So you're going to remember that experience really well. If you walk down the street and see a bush, you're not going to remember much of anything. So when you have jealousy, you actually have more increased feelings around love. But that's not the only way of going about getting it. Do you think it's possible, while well, I have you here, uh <laughs> To have, for, for people to have strong relationships with some of the opposite sex, so in other words, the, the boyfriend has a really good friend that's a girl, and that mm -hmm. causes jealousy with the wife, or vice versa. The mm -hmm. wife has a really good friend that's a boy, and then the husband gets jealousy. What happens there? How do you handle that? You know, that's really interesting, and this is where the fine balance comes in. Like you were saying, we're typically attracted to people for certain traits. So someone might be a good communicator. So that's something that there might be a healthy jealousy around. If we go to a party and they're talking about, wow, we're really drawn to that quality. We see that other men are drawn to that quality. Oh, we remember, oh, she's somebody special. We're lucky to have her. We're going to continue to assert positive aspects into the relationship. But what happens is when that crosses over the line, and that's no longer about communication, instead he starts to flirt and kind of flaunt it in her face. That's when we ask ourselves, what's really going on here for him? What's he not getting? Now, if we overreact to that simple communicating with people at a party, that's when we ask ourselves, what are the false belief systems that I have that are causing me to overreact? Do I feel I'm unlovable? Do I feel like I'm bad in bed? Am I not worthy of trust and respect? So it's really twofold. Both people end up contributing to the dynamic. So need to talk about it. That's what it's it sounds like. a fine like. line. Lily Cotilla, yeah. always wonderful to talk to you. We're going to have your tips on the KUSI website. Great. And Thanks. we'll see you next time. Yeah, I look forward to Enjoy it. Enjoy your day. Welcome have back a good one. Thanks. from Minneapolis. Thanks. All right, well, one in three.